Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you. First, thank you all for coming and attending this event. Uh, this is the first Carla Day, so it will be very simple introduction. I think we don't need to introduce each other. You know me, I know you. So uh, I, will, I will get started to save time. Uh, first, yeah, as I said, it's, a, it's a, an introduction. And if you want to know more details about any point, you can ask questions and we can discuss it. Uh, first, this is what uh, I will show today. Um, first, we have a like, small intro first introduction what we need from uh, what, what, what autonomous driving system needs to work. Uh, then, introduction to the simulator. Uh, how the simulator fits in the autonomous driving needs and uh, setup, simulator setup. And uh, we need to, I will show how to launch first example and make sure the simulator works. Then explain the ROS bridge. And then connect that to the Carla Outwear bridge. Then uh, how to launch um, the Carla Outwear bridge and ROS bridge with the simulator. Uh, then uh, scenario runner, what's the scen available scenarios in Carla? Um, and maybe if we have time, we can check, see some scenarios working. And then application. Uh, somewhere here, depends on how tired we are, we can take a break. Uh, and also, uh, I'd like to thank uh, Seiya San, he will introduce the challenge. Uh, the part uh, like his part of participating in the Carla Challenge. And also Linda will uh, explain the, how to create a map uh, for uh, the simulator. Um, OK, let's start. Uh, target audience, I think you all fit in, these, in this profile. Um, you know what autonomous driving generally. Uh, you, you can use Linux coding. Uh, GitHub, GitLab. Uh, if you want to try, we will we'll use GitHub to download some code and, and test it. Uh, ROS, of course, and Autoware, a little bit, and Docker. Uh, first, what autonomous driving system needs? We need sensing. The car needs to be able to see the surrounding environment. So we need camera, a LiDAR, GPS, Odometry, so then we can get some information, uh, read some information from these sensors, uh, and receive messages and be able to process these messages. Uh, second, we need maps, uh, point cloud maps, and road network maps. Point cloud maps is maps created from LiDAR sensor. Road network maps is high level semantic of lanes and uh, driving information, information that control the driving rules. We can say that like where the car should drive, a stop line, where the car should stop, traffic lights, uh, branching, intersection, all these kind of information that governs the, the traffic. Uh, what AD system needs, we need more, we need one more important module called localization, we need to know where is the car exactly. The localization needs sensing and needs HD point cloud map. Uh, and we need some algorithm, particle filter, particle filter, uh, NDT matching. Uh, we can use NDT matching like this. We have a map, we have sensor data, we match, we get position, relative position. Uh, if we have global localization, we can use GPS. It's um, like using satellites and receive signal from satellites, triangulate, and find the position. Both are like the similarity is here we triangulate using a lot of points, and the reference point is the center of our map. Here is the our reference point is the center of the GPS system, maybe the Earth or sometimes some. Uh, uh, Excuse me. Uh, sorry, I'm. That's okay. I'm an engineer at 
Τι από το τιμή. Uh, we just started. We, it's, this is not a big deal. We introduced the autonomous driving system. So, very simple stuff. I think you know all that. Um, plus localization, we need object detection and tracking. We need to detect object surrounding objects. Uh, we, for this, we need sensing. We need detection algorithm like Euclidean cluster, uh, deep neural networks. Uh, we need tracking algorithm, carbon filter, particle filter, to calculate more information about the detected objects. Uh, we need planning. Uh, planning requires sensing, localization, object detection, and maps. Um, and planning has two main parts, global planning, which something called navigation, uh, local planning, uh, behavior planning, which say to the vehicle, we need to stop in the traffic light, on the stop line, we need to switch lanes, uh, this kind of uh, discrete uh, behaviors. And trajectory generation, which is uh, a path the car can follow, safe path, smooth path, the car can follow to reach the destination. Uh, finally, we need control. Uh, now we have sensing, localization, and mapping, and planning. We need to send signal to the car uh, to move. So uh, for the rear car, we need drive-by-wire system and control box, ECU, and connection between our PC, control PC, and this car. For the simulation environment, we need two-way vehicle status connection. So a uh, replacement for this connect control box and, and, uh, and the connection. Um, we need to be able to control, like send and receive velocity, braking, uh, steering, uh, gear change. Uh, it's important to have feedback from the agent, a real car or simulated car. Um, and we need trajectory following algorithm, something like something like pure pursuit or MPC, model predictive controller, or PID, uh, proportional integral differential control. Um, so these are the components we need to handle. So let's check these components against Carla. Um, first, what what's Carla simulator? Uh, it is open source simulator. Uh, for testing uh, out algorithms for autonomous vehicles. It is jointly developed by Intel Labs, Toyota Research Institute, uh, and Computer Vision Center Barcelona. Um, the, gaming, the gaming engine or the graphics engine based on Unreal 4, Unreal Engine 4. Uh, there is an introduction video um, uh, you can see. Uh, uh, by the way, sorry. This is the uh, yeah. presentation and, oh, and the simulator you. Uh, you can download the content. Thank you. So if you if you want to see the video, you can see the uh, introduction video. Um, available sensors that Carla provide or simulate, uh, or we can say emulate in, in this case, uh, LiDAR, uh, camera, GPS, odometry, they have depth map, semantic segmentation data. We can, we can get all these data ready from the simulator. Uh, environment, uh, we have uh, seven towns with cars, traffic, pedestrians, ready for simulation. And for the Carla challenge, also there is scenarios, difficult scenarios included to, for this, uh, for the seven towns. Uh, scenario definition. Um, we can define our own scenarios uh, using Python API based scenario, or uh, a new feature we can use something uh, called Open Scenario. It's uh, um, a new way to define uh, traffic scenarios or uh, motion scenarios. Not not only bounded by traffic. There is flight flight scenarios and uh, for 
maybe uh, drones or, or, or other robots. Uh, you can check the website. This is a last month feature added. Um, next, uh, the components of the simulator. We have the, the simulator itself, which is the rendering engine, uh, maps, the physics engine. Then we have the Python API's configuration, which is the sensing control motion. So this, this is only is the C++ based game engine. Uh, this one makes it um, um, accessible from outside. We can send commands, receive, and also add capabilities uh, like the sensing simulation and control simulation. Scenario runner, uh, Python based traffic scenario definition and execution. So it is outside the simulator. Um, we need it only if we want to define very complex uh, or specific scenario to test the simulation. Uh, ROS bridge. Uh, so for these three parts, this is the, the, the main three parts. You can do everything using only those three parts. Uh, but using Python and C++. Uh, if you want to, uh, for ROS lovers, they, they added ROS bridge, which converts data and control commands from Python APIs to ROS-based topics. Um, and they added some nodes to also additional feature for uh, ROS users. Uh, Carla AutoWare, uh, this is a, another layer on top of the ROS bridge. Uh, AutoWare is based on ROS, uh, so they just added uh, another, some nodes and topic conversion to be able to run uh, AutoWare uh, smoothly on top of ROS bridge on top of Car. Um, additional components in the simulator, they, they have um, uh, two uh, repositories uh, on the GitHub link. Um, uh, GitHub repository main for Carla, <coughs> a one for conditional Im uh, imitation learning. Uh, you can check that if you wanna uh, use read the code or, or use it. Also reinforcement they support re reinforcement learning, but they say it's only interface avail uh, inference available. Uh, training is not available yet. They are trying to make it available. Uh, map editing. Uh, how to create a map or create a new simulation environment. Uh, we need an uh, application called Roadrunner. Uh, currently, this application is, is kind of commercial um, map editor. Um, sorry, creating the map is not straightforward. Multiple layers of third-party uh, apps are needed. So I don't want to talk a lot about this. This is Linda will introduce this part. She will complain about this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I will complain about other stuff. Um, where uh, to find help? Uh, for Carla Simulator, you can go to the um, the latest Carla uh, documentation. And there is another documentation parallel to the latest. There is the stable one. So this is different than this one. If you browse both, you will find differences. And uh, there is um, um, Discord app. If you log in into Discord app, you can ask questions and you can find a lot of uh, discussions about some problems facing developers. Um, also, read me uh, at, on, on GitHub. This is the, the latest and fresh documentation. So this is newest, and then <coughs> this one, and then this one. And the three are different. So take care when you are reading the documentation because you will find some <laughs> discrepancies between between the three uh, documentation. But the latest uh, is the README uh, at the GitHub. Um, also, you can check the issues on the GitHub. Um, when people have a problem, they post and there's some solution posted there. And, and actually, you can find the, the solution reflected back to the documentation. So we find it only on the GitHub issues. Uh, so that's why it's important to, to also look 
at the GitHub. Um, and this is the verdict, information instruction from each source may conflict, so be patient and don't panic. Uh, next, uh, we want to set up the simulator. Uh, I, I give you the copy. If you have Linux, you can, you can uh, extract the, 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 the simulator. So this is the uh, 0.96 released uh, last month. Hmm? Yeah, uh, so this is almost uh, the latest. Uh, you can extract it. Uh, and to be able to use it, you need to install uh, Python related libraries. Uh, one thing, if you're going to use only the Python APIs and not ROS and not or to where I recommend to use only Python 3. So it's easy to install. The packages are the latest. Um, so you can you can use it directly. It's easier. Uh, excuse me. Uh, why? Uh, why, uh, why we have to use 3? Uh, I, I recommend using 3 if you, don't, if you are not using ROS. Yeah, but why? Uh, because 2 has problems. Uh, support problems, especially with uh, with this library, Python X. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have to install 2.2. Yeah. And if you install ROS before it, you have to hardly like remove it before. Oh. Uh, and then reinstall it again. Oh. And this doesn't work all the time. So uh, every like it happens with me three times. Every time I I install different <laughs> machine, I try to work, get to work on the different machine. I have this kind of problems. And it take maybe two three hours oh. to, to resolve. <laughs> That's why I recommend. Oh, I see. So uh, yeah, now yeah, now I'm building a integration package for Autoware and Karula. Mm. And so yeah, basically you yeah. Yeah, it, it, these are you can if you yeah. add this to the <laughs> installer automatically. Yeah. So yeah, this yeah. this should do the work. Okay. So uh, so. So we should use Karai API via Python 3, so, <laughs> so how to integrate it? Okay. Um, the, the problem yeah, is with ROS, yeah. with ROS 1, yeah. we have to use Python 2. Yeah. That's why we, we, we kind of need both. Yeah, uh, so okay, so I will make the uh, uh, uh yeah, I will name this uh, node in yeah, loss node, loss one node in Python 3. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see. I, I know how to make it, so, yeah. Okay, so, so if, yeah, if, if, you can, if you can move to Python 3, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's recommended. Yes, okay. So and also, you know, Python 2 will be uh, yeah, bro, 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 out of bro, bro. commission soon, so yeah. we want to move to Python 3. Can you try installing in a virtual environment? Um, no. Um, I, I didn't, but I, I did a lot, like two times uh, installed fresh Linux. It's kind of virtual. Like I format everything and I install fresh Linux and, and install for install Carl. Mm -hmm. I, I tried without, uh, I tried with Conda. Mm -hmm. It works fine, but um, well, I have I have problem when I have, to, when I have to connect it with ROS. So if you use standalone, you use uh, Conda. Either two or three is, doesn't matter, it's fine. Yeah. So, yeah, these kind of, and these are the libraries. Uh, these are the ones I, I really needed to reinstall again or reconfigure. Uh, plus, Network X, also Python uh, setup tools have some problems. Mm -hmm. So, just take care of that while installing. Um, uh, so, yeah, I, I recommend to use PQM. Uh, yeah, uh, in order to uh, com uh, avoid com uh, this conflict, mm -hmm. yeah, I recommend to use PPM. This mm -hmm. uh, this makes virtual M in the uh, Python uh, Python package directly, mm -hmm. and and I, we we can avoid these problems. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I I will add it to the presentation. Um, okay, that's great. So next, if we can install this and everything works fine, 
uh, let's explore the the simulator contents. I just want to uh, show some the contents of the simulator. Um, this is the my my installation folder. I have here. This is the extraction for the simulator. Uh, we have this is the this is engine. This is additional functionality for Carlo. Uh, the most important thing I want to point out is they have this HD maps. These are the point cloud maps of the supported uh, towns, and this is the Python APIs I was talking about. Python APIs has three three folders. This is util. Uh, we will we will check it now. Uh, example some Python examples, and these are. This is the agent, uh, which um, create new root and represent the controller and the, uh, the the vehicle agent. If you want to add new agent, you can check this code. Uh, but it's automatically called from the scenario runner or from the uh, from ROS uh, bridge. So you can avoid even looking into this code. But you know it's here. This is the final, uh, this is the, the kind of binaries, the egg file for the, this is for uh, Python 2.7 and this is for Python 3.5. Oh, do you know how to make this egg file? Uh, no. Okay, I see. Uh, yeah, I, I try. Yeah, uh, in the uh, documentation of Kara, uh, in order to use Python API, uh, I I see that we uh, we have to uh, install Kara Python API via this .dot file. Mm -hmm. But uh, the source code version there is no .egg file, so I I wonder how to make it. So if there, uh, if, uh, if someone uh, have uh, information about this, uh, please let me know. Um, so yeah. It will be really quick. So you can do main yeah. packet, yeah. and then it will be in uh, this yeah. folder, yeah. and you go in and, and you, you can uh, add just uh, Just make packet in this folder. Yeah, OK, yeah. I see. Thank you. Uh, yeah, by the way, uh, I never try to to build from source. Carla, I always use yeah. the, the release. Yeah, I uh, yeah I I succeed to build just one time, so <laughs> yeah. yeah uh, so but uh, but Python API was fails. Uh, I was uh, yeah, the main the main my main issue is I didn't want to waste time. Yeah, it takes a lot of time. A lot of people complain and it takes a lot of time. Yeah. So I didn't have time, and that release works fine for me. And they all always have something called overnight release, overnight which is release. yeah. Uh, overnight release is every every week uh, or night, every night, chain. Means nightly. Hmm? Means nightly. Yeah. Ah, okay, I see. Yeah, nightly. Ah, okay, okay, I see. So this is uh, you can get, but again, if there is something new and you have old code, it can conflict. Oh. Uh, and the documentation will be different than the latest, so yeah. that's why I, I try to keep uh, working with the release, which they support by documentation. Um, yeah, I can show you the... Uh, the maps. Where is... We use already converted uh, open drive to your op open brand map format? No, I just can I just can load uh, the open drive, the layout. Yeah. Um, so color content, color maps, open drive. So these are the maps. They have oh they have down ten. This is new. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, and ten. Okay, but they don't have point cloud for that. Also, for example, for map five. Let's see. This is the 
old. Then map. Uh, for the point cloud, we can see the load is defined. Yours, right? it's not yeah. for you can use our and I and view this so, so this is um, cool. the point cloud they, they provide this point cloud so you don't need to create a map but there is there is way to create point cloud map if you have your own uh, um, map, yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, so I just wanted to show the be familiar with the simulator. Here I have AutoWare, uh, and this is the Carla AutoWare. This is the Carla AutoWare bridge. I will, I will show, I will present now. Okay. So let's continue. Um, how to launch, configure Carla Simulator? Um, simply, we can just call uh, the, the launcher. Um, and here, we can also use off screen option. So we can uh, launch without rendering the main screen. Um, uh, test if the simulator works. There is some utility fun, uh, Python files to test if it works. Especially if you run it uh, off screen, you want to make sure that it's already it's it's work it works. Uh, also, there is one all new option is to we give it a parameter to use OpenGL as the main graphics uh, library. It uses Vulkan now by default, but you can use OpenGL. There is some performance differences between both. Uh, you can check, depends on the, like, the PC, the graphics card. Uh, you want to use memory more, or uh, you, you care about the proce processing, uh, the speed. Uh, to configure the simulator, uh, there is one configuration file called config.py. Uh, you can select the map. We can change the weather. Uh, we can change the frame per second, the host port, enable or disable synchronous mode, um, which I, I will talk a bit about synchronous mode with the ROS bridge. Uh, let's, let's see an example of doing this. Uh, yeah. I will run this example. Here, just run Corma. So, oh, sorry, it's here. Okay, so this is the default view. Uh, I can just move using WSD to check the map. Okay. I want to make sure the graphic becomes updated very, very beautiful. It's a beautiful version. Yes. Uh, okay. Let me uh, run Python. Uh, Python APIs, new term, test, then yeah, connection established, so everything good. Uh, okay, I can do config. You can see config has these parameters. Uh, let's try something uh, config m. Uh, we can change the map. So we have town until town 10. 
down one. Load down one. Let's go to the simulator and change it down the, the, the current map into town one. Uh, so we can use this configuration as initial configuration. Also, we can do this in our cu uh, custom uh, application using using Python. Uh, so, yeah, we can use dynamic weather, or uh, we can set any weather we want: uh, rainy, uh, sunny. Um, so. We can play with this later. Um, also, we can do uh, we can check manual control, and we can record some data if you want a fast data recording. Um, first, I would like to start the. Simulator of of screen. So now it is supposed to be working. So like the best connection. Okay. Um, then Python. Oh, excellent. Can I use the uh, Wi-Fi here? Okay. Uh, yes, there is. Oh. Manual control. Okay. Uh, this this um, five game based uh, program you can drive manually using the keyboard. Uh, we can check uh, using the the, the numbers. We can different uh, sensing. Uh, so this is the lighter view. This is the segmentation view. Actually, there is some data here, but it's coded. So uh, like stereo version, the, the depth. So. These kind of information that you can read from the simulator uh, and you can we can press R if I press R recording on so and press P and actually there is actually a good feature you can use autopilot so a drive and around the map automatically you can use that to collect data uh, automatically and uh, if we check the, where is the folder, here, folder called out. So it records images. Oh, cool. Kabbalaya. Yeah. Hmm? Kabbalaya. Um, I, they didn't say they can record LiDAR using this feature. Uh, maybe you can modify the file, modify the application to save LiDAR. Mm -hmm. You already have all the messages, but they only for this one save LiDAR. Uh, later, I, I, I recommend if we use ROS uh, yeah, bridge and AutoWare, we record the ROS bag. Just ROS bag record and record the ROS messages. Uh, but this is another option. If you want to avoid all that, you didn't even use any uh, program. Uh, this uh, camera was saved to be a what can I say? Uh, Third-person view images. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, but if we want to uh, log in uh, camera uh, camera image in the car, uh, can we do that? Uh, yes, we can set the camera. Actually, there is uh, one. Oh, this is the weather. Uh, there is one. Okay, one shortcut here. Uh, I don't remember, but you can change the camera to the main, that. the sensing camera. Hmm? Cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Oh, now press W? Tab, tab. Tab, okay, I see. Okay, cool. Um, then you record those images. 
Yeah. So, yeah, so this is very pretty cool, very simple. You can make sure everything works. And one, one comment is turn off the simulator because when you start off a screen, you don't see, but you only hear the the fan is working. So uh, there is one one time I forget it running overnight, like in the lab, and I come the morning around the PC is really hot. <laughs> so it is, it is it uses a lot of power, so it is not good. So don't forget to just turn off the simulator. Okay, so we've seen the simulator working um, with simple example. We can control the car manually or use the autopilot in the inside Carla. This autopilot using using very deterministic, very simple path following. Oh, I see. Uh, uh, Carla uh, it has a deterministic. No, no. Deterministic means like it's a. Um, uh, it, point by point, like follow point by point. It's not like pure pursuit. Ah, I'm not I trying see, to optimize. Okay, okay, I see. Yeah, okay, I see. Deter uh, deterministic pass following? Yeah. Mm, okay, I see. Uh, so they are not trying to optimize or use some some smoothing. So just just try to follow. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so this is, this is why uh, we can check in the code. Actually, the, the code is open source. We can check where is this function of Path following, but we don't need it. We just need to cruise around and record some data. Um, so this is how they explain the simulator and the Python APIs. As you as you see. Um, okay, what can we do with the Python APIs? Uh, according to the documentation, uh, we can configure uh, the graphics as we we saw. Use Vulkan or OpenGL. Uh, we can change mode, synchronous or asynchronous. Uh, okay, difference between both, uh, with, with, it's usually by default it's asynchronous. So messages send and you receive as you wish, and uh, so you don't have control on the, uh, on the flow of the, of the simulation. Synchronous means you can know every time, you can re-execute the same scenario every time exactly. So you can read message by message or frame by frame of the simulation, which is very, very useful for debugging. Yeah, but I think it is very, very difficult when we use, uh, when we uh, build Shredder with game engine. Uh, so I, I want to know that Carla has a determinism or not. Um, by using synchronous mode, we can use color determinism. Uh, yes, determinism. Uh, I don't think it's it's the same way as real time. Yeah. It's just it's st steps like, like ah, yeah, 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 yeah. every every uh, every yeah, simulation yeah. is a step. So you send the signal and yeah. you say go to the next step. Yeah. And then so it's just the communication is. Synchronous. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, not not that with the same constraints as the real time system, as the, the real time determinist. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I, I mean, uh, yeah, I yeah, I don't, uh, yeah, I don't, I do not nec necessarily uh, real time determinism. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just need uh, determinism. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, real time case, is no pro not not that In this problem. case, it is it is you can do that. Okay, okay. I you see. just set the mode yeah. and send signal, I want a next yeah. step. So the, the cool. simulation will work one step yeah. and send the data, you yeah. receive, you process, and then send the next signal and so on. Okay. Um, we have autonomous driving Asian. Uh, we can set up sensors. Uh, and also we can set up the physics uh, of, the, of the Asian, of the environment. Um, send control. Uh, commands receive agent status. Uh, mapping, we can query the map uh, name and also we can query the road network information. It is in the on only network uh, format, it's open drive format. Uh, so, and only, only the lanes. No, there is no 
um, no traffic light, no stop lines, no information like that. Uh, and, but they are working on that now. Oh. Like uh, they told me next month they want to add the traffic light to their map, cool. this map information, and add more information. Yeah, yeah, traffic light is necessary. So I will try to work with them closely to, to support as much uh, semantic information in the map as possible. So uh, now Cora users uh, uh, try to, uh, yeah, now Cora users uh, want to stop uh, their vehicles in front of the red light. Uh, they have to detect uh, red light by neural network or something like that. Okay, mm -hmm. I see. Yeah, and also the that stop line. You have to detect the stop okay. line and the traffic light both. Oh. <laughs> and some places in the map actually they don't have a stop line. Like in the simulation, there is no stop line. So you have to oh. imagine <laughs> there is an imaginary stop line somewhere oh. and stop there. It's hard. <laughs> yes. But the can build it on Yeah, you can put them, but they are not connected. You can export the road network. You can have that information, but Carla cannot recognize the road. Okay. Um, it's not in the open drive file, but yeah. visually, yeah, you can see that. Do you see it? Yeah, but it's not. The sensor don't show exist. The sensor data is not Well, uh, it's because you can retrieve some information from the simulator, let's say from other vehicles, from the roads and stuff, but you cannot retrieve from the simulator the information that there's a traffic light there or a stop sign. So you, yeah, visually you can identify them, but you cannot get from the simulator. The simulator won't tell you, oh, there's a stop light here or a traffic light. That would be um, useful. Okay. Um, also, we can use the a Python APIs. We can insert uh, cars, bicycles, motorbikes, trucks, pedestrians. Um, they are always asking that can we also control the certain vehicles and the pedestrian? Yes. They, they are you can you can uh, change their behavior, motion, uh, where they start uh, inserting in the map, mm -hmm. and this is, is uh, uh, you can do all that in the scenario run. run. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, what? You can do with Python APIs, then we can do debugging, control weather. Also, co programmatically, we can control which weather we want. Uh, we can set sensor position and params and receive sensing data. And we can also, uh, this is really important for our test, we can receive uh, notifications like collision with other, with other vehicles or other pedestrians or side or any any object, uh, we can also detect that they can send notification about lane departure if we if the, if the vehicle get outside the lane. Uh, we can if we go to the sidewalk, we can it, it send a notification. Traffic light if we break the traffic light, go through the traffic light, send notification or stop line. So uh, this kind of notification is very important uh, for the learning or for the uh, benchmark or evaluation? So actually, I'm very interested in the Carla Challenges um, evaluation functions. And I, I want to import and use them. And I'm, I'm very curious if anyone did that. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe use that? Maybe you say I can, can yeah. 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 Okay. I don't know how I can do it. Oh, yeah. I want to know questions. Uh, yeah, I want to, uh, Carla can use in Ubuntu uh, 18. Um, I never tried. Okay. The, um, I compiled it once. Mm -hmm. It worked once, mm -hmm. and then the Vulkan driver, yeah, it somehow is broken after I upgraded a uh, oh. Nvidia driver, and then I couldn't run it. Oh, okay. But it worked. Okay. Once. Once. <laughs> 
So maybe the question will be, will the dependency work or not? It's like it's like when Autoware want to import to uh, Ubuntu 18, yeah. we need ROS to work first, and the other dependency libraries works. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then uh, of course uh, Autoware will 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 work. So, but I I only tested on 16.04. Uh, so. Okay. Okay. The ROS bridge for ROS lovers only. <laughs> so if you like Python too much and you don't like ROS, sorry, you, this is not for you. Uh, okay, um, this enables the connection between the Python APIs and ROS. So it reads from Python APIs and converts to ROS. Something like middleware. Uh, features, uh, also we can enable disable synchronous mode. Um, as we discussed, we can execute frame by frame simulation, uh, which I had to, to work a lot actually to add it to AutoWare to test the planner. Actually, in, in the planner uh, nodes, there is no, some nodes can, can do this, can test frame by frame. Um, ego vehicle communication, uh, the name of the ego vehicle, it, it, the, the code name is role name. Um, the name of the autonomous agent uh, we use for the the main main agent of the autonomous vehicle. Uh, sensor topics that we can read. We can read odometry, uh, camera. Um, we can read camera info, uh, lidar data, uh, GNSS data, GPS data. Uh, feedback. Uh, we can get uh, collision, sensor, uh, lane invasion, object data, uh, all vehicle and walkers, uh, so all actors. These are the actual position and information about the simulated data, which we can consider as ground truth. Yeah. So we, we use detection algorithm to detect these objects. But they actually give us a list of the position of the actual uh, ground truth of the of the simulated vehicles and, and walkers. So in this case, we, we have actually we have pair of ground truth and the Ableton algorithm. We can do uh, evaluation. Uh, control command. We can uh, send control data to ego vehicle. Uh, we can. Manual, there is manual and uh, manual override command, switch between autonomous and uh, manual drive. Same as if you have a, an actual uh, autonomous car, you have always a switch which switch between autonomous mode and manual mode. Um, we can also control the, 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 the agent or the ego vehicle using twist command, which is uh, send. Uh, uh, angular velocity and linear velocity to the uh, vehicle, uh, and they have the, they have provided one node called Carla uh, Ackerman mm -hmm. Control Node, which you can send the twist command to it, and it will convert it to using PID to acceleration and brake and gear switch. Um, control status. Um, uh, custom message for the ego vehicle uh, status, um, velocity, acceleration, gear, you can send directly. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, this is the feedback, so we can read all this information. Uh, visualization, they have a um, marker, they publish marker for the, they visualize the vehicles and the walkers. Um, another continue um, feature, features of ROS Bridge. Uh, mapping, um, they as same as in the API, they convert the API, the, sorry, the, the map, open drive map uh, network uh, into a ROS topic and publish that. Uh, global planning, they have a separate node which can create a global path. Um, Install a uh, launch ROS bridge. Uh, we will run ROS bridge example with the Autoware example. So I will combine both. 
but you can ru run separately. You can use only the ROS bridge outside of, of, uh, of AutoWare. Um, OK, you can check this page and download the ROS bridge. Um, by the way, ROS bridge included in the Carla AutoWare bridge. So when you download, when you clone the Carla AutoWare bridge, you already could clone the ROS bridge uh, included. Um, and the ROS runner also included in that. So you don't have to download ROS runner separately and ROS bridge separ separately. Um, the way it works, uh, there is the simulator, the server, and then there is three components. Uh, the Carla client one, which send sensing data and vehicle control uh, TF, and then the Eagle vehicle controller uh, that register the Eagle vehicle with the name. Uh, you can actually register multiple Eagle vehicles and control it separately over network even. So multiple PCs can connect to one server and have multiple autonomous vehicle work. Uh, third one is the Waypoint calculator, which is the it's the global planner for the Carla, which takes a start point and goal point and generate a global path um, for the vehicle to follow. Uh, after we install the engine, we need to set uh, set up the AutoWare framework and Carla AutoWare bridge. Um, so set up AutoWare. Uh, that's a long process. Uh, I will just, I, I assume everyone here can can set up and use AutoWare. So uh, this, the Carla supports 1.11 plus. So it supports 1.11 or 1.12 now. So either, either one of them, they will work with Carla. Uh, follow AutoWare installation, but to make it easier, uh, Actually, you can you can go to this branch. Uh, I modified uh, 1.11 uh, branch, added the latest for Open Planner, and uh, it can work with Carla. I will show how to work. Uh, I will show I will show that uh, how to use it. Uh, so if you get clone this one and uh, install Colcon or you can avoid installing Colcon if you if you want to use uh, Catkin Make. Uh, until now, I prefer to use Catkin Make, uh, but please uh, use Catkin Make release, uh, not uh, debug mode, uh, because actually, with Carla, I don't know with Carla or outside Carla, uh, NDT matching. If I if I build it with debug mode, it doesn't work. Uh, I don't know performance or uh, or something, but it works with the, in the release mode. And also, we need uh, Armadillo. You will find it on the data I, I gave you, because there, you can't install it directly the, the latest one. Uh, so, if you install that and make uh, auto air, um, then we can start using the Carla Outwear bridge uh, from um, first build the Outwear release, then from source code, uh, this source code of Carla Outwear bridge, uh, we need to get uh, LFS, uh, this one to be able to clone the large files. Uh, these large files are the uh, point cloud data. GitHub usually don't download the big files. Uh, but if we use the LFS mode, uh, then we can download the, the data. Um, Catkin, um, then we do the Catkin init. And uh, we have to source the AutoWare. This is the path to the AutoWare installation. So we source the AutoWare before we make uh, the Carla AutoWare bridge. Then we call Catkin make for the Carla AutoWare bridge. Then we have both working. Confusing? 
confusing steps. Okay, I will show I will show those like how to how to do these steps uh, and the environment setup also. Uh, after that, the launch. Okay, let me show how to uh, install. Okay, uh, so I go to. This is the Carla Auto in GitHub. And this is the branch I'm talking about. So this OP dash X. Um, this is one point eleven. Uh, fork from 1.11 all the way. So this is this one is here. So here, all the way. This is the auto wear version. So I just. Um, Let's say uh, I, I will install it again. Um, so get on, and this is my answer. Actually, I don't think I can do this. <laughs> this is it. So the, the, this downloads auto wear. And while downloading, also I go to the, this is the Carla auto wear. This link here from source code. This is the Carla auto wear. Just download or clone. Okay, get clone. And of course, I did. I made a mistake. This is auto wear downloaded and color downloaded. I will build auto wear first. So here, step zero uh, build auto wear release. Then here, I'm going to auto wear ROS. Okay. 
things. Then I want to build all the where, so uh, make, so I can make uh, one, two, three, uh, make the time, take one release. Okay? So, and this is, um, I recommend to do the release, not just uh, cat can make, or use Qualcomm. Uh, latest AutoWare prefer to use Qualcomm because Qualcomm can build both ROS 1 and ROS 2. Um, why I use, okay, to be honest, why I use CatCan, not Qualcomm, it's faster. If I a file or a function and I want to test, this takes seconds, Qualcomm every time takes longer. Than, than cat can. So that's why I just use the, this one. Uh, yeah, still, uh, still now, uh, Qualcomm takes a lot of time, but in the near future, uh, I think Qualcomm will be faster. And yeah, it's just a uh, auto uh, package, uh, what can I say, uh, package architecture problem. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, auto has a, a lot of package, too yes. much. So, yeah. 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 So I, 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 I'm, I'm sure if, if in Qualcomm, like uh, in the build process, we check the, about the, the, the packages, like have yeah. a history, yeah, 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 yeah. and just build the... Uh, yeah, Qual uh, Qualcomm uh, can you make a, a big, big shoemake list of techies in the workspace. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so uh, if we modify a shoemake list of techies, um, just, just, just one thing make list of text in the or package of XML in a single, uh, single package. And uh, can regenerate the big she make list of text. So checking uh, takes a lot of time when we modify C make list of text or package of XML. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, and um, in this case, Qualcomm uh, is faster. Uh, yeah, much faster than checking. But uh, usually, Qualcomm uh, takes a lot of time. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's a reason. So I'm not I'm not saying it's recommended, but for for but for if you change a lot, if you are changing code a lot and you want to test faster, I'm using this one. So this will or yeah, Qualcomm can select a package uh, uh, by the command line. Option. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, I but still, it still, it still, uh, oh, it still, still takes a lot of time. Yeah, and okay. especially if I if I'm if I want to build uh, two or three packages. Yeah. Uh, then I I want to select every time different packages. Oh, okay. Good good thing with with can can make yeah. is it only builds the on the modified automatically find the modified package and yeah, build yeah, yeah, it yeah, 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 yeah. faster. Yeah. So. Uh, so I assume this is already done and I will go here okay the next step is I finished I finished step zero now this step I finished this one I cloned and I need to edit the workspace so I this is I am in Carla AutoWare 2 uh, CD Carla AutoWare uh, Okay. Workspace source uh, in it workspace. Now I initialize the workspace. Uh, after initializing workspace, the next step is um, I want to source the the outwear that I just built here. So. So it's still working, it will take some time. So I assume it it is done. And here I just want to source uh, Karma. And I call I name it Autoware 2. Uh, oh, 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 oh. 
いつ、いっそと。ん俺がいつ。ああ、there is e、okay, メッセージ。But, but ah, okay, okay. Uh, so, so, okay, okay. <laughs> I already, I know the naming is missing.、Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Ross, develop, set up, bash. bash. So, this is t h e p I am in Carla Autoware folder. Initialize the catkin, just sourcing. This line, okay.、Uh, then I can say cat can make this step. So, anyway,、um, I already installed those, so I don't want to miss my environment. It is very critical to never miss, mess up with the environment.、Uh, okay, now the, the difficult step environment setup. We have AutoAir, we have Carla Ross Bridge. Environment setup, we need to export these variables. In the terminal to be able to use it. So, easier way to then export every time, I add this export to the bash.rc. So, if you have any questions, stop me at any time. So, this is the, the home. If I press Ctrl H, like I show the, the read only file or the hidden file, sorry. There is a file called bashrc, which is once we start the terminal, this runs and it sets up the environment in the terminal.、Um, we can check what's inside. If you see at the end of this file, I added these. <laughs> I added these、uh, environment variables. So, the most important thing is、uh, Carla Autoware root. Where is the Carla Autoware? I installed it at home item Carla 96, Carla Autoware, Carla Autoware, Autoware launch. So, this is, this is the launch folder which contains the Autoware launch file. Then, maps path. In the same Carla AutoWare folder and then AutoWare data and max.、Uh, Carla root. So you can install it anywhere, but you can link all your folders using this environment. And, and Carla server, where is the server? And the Python path. This is very important. This is show which Python file you are using. If you are using、uh, Python 3.5, then this one should. Point to the Python 3.5 egg.、Mm. Because you are using, we are using Gross, we are using、like、Gross Bridge, we need the 2.7. So this、uh, point to the 2.7. And we also have to add path to the agent, so that Carla 
Python API slash Carla and Python API slash Carla slash agents and the Python app. This is very important to add path to the three uh, directories. <coughs> then uh, we source, uh, this is actually when you set up ROS, yeah, this is actually, I didn't say, I didn't mention, but we are using ROS, so, so ROS has to be installed before we are doing all the, the autoware installation or, or, so this one, it sources the ROS uh, nodes and messages and, and topics and everything. Um, why this is here? Uh, so if you install ROS first, this should be before the Python Python uh, path. Uh, but from from experience, it's better to add it at the end after the Python path. So once this is set up, we can uh, go back to the I can simply source it like dot uh, bash rc. If you want to make sure that the environment is set up correctly, if you have another term like um, another terminal application, but they should link to that bash rc. But I can do that. So now I, I source it all that uh, environment. I can check. Uh, if, if my environment is, is okay, because this is very important. Sometimes you get um, very weird Python errors, which takes really long time to fix. So I want to make sure that the, the, it is already set up. So I can do this. Uh, one, two. Yeah. Python uh, path. So I can check, okay, this is the Python path uh, here in the environment. It should be okay. included all, the, all the, the directories we want to add. So currently what we did is, uh, it is installed AutoWare, it is installed uh, Carla Autoware Bridge and set up that environment. Uh, take care. This is this is for the developing phase. If you are using, maybe say I can, can mention that. If you are using the challenge, you need to add more. Yeah. <laughs> more. Oh, yes. Yeah. Pass. Okay. Uh, so. What next is. Launch. So, how to launch? Do you think you can now yeah. or after the uh, after after? Okay. Okay. Three, two, one. Launch. Um, these are the steps to launch. You can switch one like two steps, but take care. It's not. Um, yeah, you can you can face some problems if you switch two steps. Uh, so we run the simulator first. I, I, I prefer to run ROS core separately in another window. Uh, then RVS to see what's happening, to see the data, make sure that everything is working. And then uh, run the Carla AutoWare bridge. And then run AutoWare Runtime Manager. And then have fun. If, if if you reach number six, you, you will have fun. Before that, you will suffer. Anyway, um, let's do that. Okay, launch Carla, we, we mentioned before 
uh, that we can run off screen um, and test that there is a connection and configure if you want a special map. Let's do that. So I will launch the simulator off screen. Here I want to check this connection. Connection, okay. I want to load map number one. So uh, configure config map town one. Okay, but we can't see anything yet. But we we made sure that it's working because the connection is working. Uh, okay, what's the next step? I actually almost follow the this steps. Launch was cool. Okay. We need another window. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, next, launch our base. Mm. Okay. Uh, here we can. I added, uh, there's one folder called visualization. Uh, Visualization. It has prepared uh, our base config, so it has included all the, the visualization you need, um, mostly. Um, so, So the resolution of, of this screen is not enough, so we'll try to what, as much as possible. Nothing running yet, just run our this. Next step, launch Carla Autoware Bridge. There is provided launch files. Uh, here in the... Carla Autoware, Carla Autoware. There's something called a uh, folder called Autoware Launch. This has the launch files which you can launch Autoware without Runtime Manager. So you don't need Runtime Manager in this case. You can you can uh, like use both. I will show example using both. Uh, so um, we can run the, uh, develop. The, this is for development stage. Uh, I will explain what's inside, but I want to show you that things are running. Uh, so we go here and uh, was launch uh, to launch the runner. I was testing. Oh, I commented this one. So. I need to source also the the uh, Carla Ross uh, Carla Ross Bridge, Autoware Bridge. Sorry. 
so source that can uh, develop set of dash and okay. Now this is if you want to auto control, like manual control. And here you can see the, the map is loaded. This is from the data coming from the simulation, front camera, detection. Now, now AutoWare, using the, the, the default control stack, is controlling the vehicle. And there is object detection here. You can see. Uh, oh, now you use uh, AutoWare to control vehicle. Yes. Uh, default uh, default version. I say default version of the uh, color AutoWare is just a. Uh, uh, yeah, auto it does not do anything. I follow the just follow the yeah yeah, the yeah, yeah 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 yeah. So okay, so you modify this. This is the default. I didn't modify anything. Oh, yeah. This is this is uh, this is without any modification. This oh. comes out out of the box. So oh. I didn't modify anything. Just oh, so I download, good. set up, install, and yeah. run. This works. Oh, cool. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I will show customization. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will show customization later. Uh, uh, if if I open actually if I open in config other um, another config, uh, I want I want to Can I see uh, RQT graph? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since now the challenge, yeah. since the challenge, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, good. So, okay. Cool. so, yeah. So this is this is the default auto stack. Uh, I will I will show you which nodes are working. Okay. I will. I, but I'm, I just wanted to show that if out of the box you can you can do this. Um, okay. Um, so let me turn on. The waypoint comes from the uh, Yeah. Okay. Uh, but we can we can select start point and goal point, and cool. it will generate. Cool. Uh, point. So I need to turn off this one. So oh, so Carl, uh, Carl, uh, Carl can provide the uh, 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 yeah uh, the start point and goal point for the from the way and send it to the color via color bridge and color create the global path and send us. Yeah. Cool. So it's an open planner method, right? Uh, yes, we, we, uh, I can use actually open planner. That's what the, the main modification for my branch, this OP-X, yeah, yeah. is uh, local planner depends on global planner, open, like in the open planner, the global planner to do this. 
but because it's already done in Carla, I don't need it anymore. Oh, so yeah. I just bypass the global planner and use the, the data coming from Carla. Okay, so now we can see it is working uh, using AutoWare. Let's uh, see what, what was working, what we, did we see is working. Um, the default launch file uh, we launched, we launched develop.launch. This is a ROS launch. ROS launch is run, uh, starting several nodes, one or, or more nodes. Uh, that do some specific functions. So develop.launch has two main uh, launch files. One, first is the Carla Odoir bridge with manual control. With manual control makes us see this window, simulation, the window that we saw with the overview camera behind the vehicle that we can switch to autopilot. If we use Carla Odoir bridge with Without this one, we just get the data and we don't, we, we cannot control manually the car. It's just like uh, different capabilities. And the second launch file included in develop.launch is autoware.launch. So what autoware.launch consists of? First the map, which load the, supposed to load the point cloud map. But this file is empty. Why? Because Carla Simulator sends the map data over ROS. So you can receive the map data over ROS so we don't need to load the map. If we have, for example, road network map or a spatial map, we can load it in this step. So second one is sensing. We need to set up the, the sensing for autoware. So there is one node called ray ground filter, uh, which is um, filter the, the the lidar data into ground ground and non ground ground only and non ground. Um, next is localization. We need to find the position. Uh, this runs a vehicle model. Uh, vehicle model is the, the, the object which draw vehicle on the on the RV, but unfortunately it doesn't load it. Can find the path. I don't know why, but it's not it's not that important. Uh, and can to odometry launch points down sample. Points down sample is very important. We we, we use it in AutoWare to down sample the the lidar message. Point cloud, the, not the point cloud, the, the, yeah, it's a, it's a type, it's called point cloud. The, the one frame of the LiDAR data, and then called NDT matching, which match the LiDAR data with the point cloud map and find the position. Um, this is important because when, when Carla selects the start position, uh, this transfer to uh, odometry and fuse it with the uh, NDT matching so it can find the position of the starting po point. Uh, there is um, comments inside the launch file. If you open the launch file, you'll find uh, documentation. Oh, okay, this is additional documentation I didn't mention. Beside the GitHub, and the documentation inside the launch file. There is some documentation. Tell you tell you which which nodes you need to run with which. And sometimes when you run some special some nodes, other nodes doesn't work. So take care of this of the sequence. Uh, then the detection lidar Euclidean cluster detect. This is for object detection. And then mission planner. Mission planning. Uh, this is what you've been asking for. It runs Velocity Pulse Connect, Waypoint Marker Publisher, and Lane Rule, Lane Stop, and Lane Select. This is the default uh, mission planning stack in AutoWay. And uh, then uh, another launch file, my, my motion planning, dot launch, which launch cost map generator. 
A star avoidance, velocity set, pure pursuit, and twist filter. Uh, these launch files. Before you skip, me. Uh, I'm sorry. You know, I have some questions. Are here. So all these files are here. And the, the, my my map, my localization, but the actual the the detail, but those launch files are in AutoWare. Those are AutoWare launch files. So my map around now is uh, is empty, right? Because you don't have the converter. Mm -hmm. Okay. So so how do you get the road network information, like from car? Um, uh, currently, AutoWare works without road network information. Ah, so you don't. Get I don't get I don't get children. I get only the global path mm. you saw. Mm. So just follow the global path. This is the only thing we have. Mm. Uh, so okay. Now let's do the custom lunch. Uh, custom lunch I will disable these I don't want a detection. I don't want a um, 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 send ray ground filter. I don't want a mission or, or planning. We will try to use AutoWare, the runtime manager. So I will show it step by step. Um, okay. So simulator is working. Uh, here is we want to uh, launch our base. No, no, our base. Okay, this is our base. Um, we want to launch this, but we want to comment on the other launch file. We don't want to launch localization or detection or, sorry, only localization we enable. Uh, because um, internally it knows where is the start point. If we launch without localization, we need to know, predefine where is the Carla, where Carla will put the start point. Because NDD matching needs needs initial initial position. So this would be so difficult, I will skip, I will leave Carla do the localization. Uh, so in this file, I want to disable those and the sensing. First, I, before disabling, I want to check again. Uh, uh, okay, only ray ground filter. I don't need this one. So. I will comment also sensing. Okay. So only we have this one, which is useless, and localization. Uh, so we launch. Okay, let's go on. Localization is working. Find the initial position. Okay. Now I want to run AutoWare. So only localization is working. So 
source with super dash. So to run, I have to run. So this will run the runtime manager for auto -way. Simulate, we, we need to have TF model. We need to load the point cloud map, sorry for the resolution. Uh, this should supposed to be point cloud map. Uh, we load here the PCD files for the point cloud map. Here the vector map. And here is the TF sensor setup on the car. So the DF includes the, where is the sensor is set up on the car and the, uh, actually it also includes one, the conversion between map and wall uh, coordinates. Uh, but this, this is done by Carla, so we don't need this. If we will use it standalone, out where we need to, to use the setup, we need to use that map. But we don't, Carla take care of this, of those steps. Now we need to take care of the sensor. Um, let's, let's do some tests. This is the LiDAR data. OK. I want to get close. And OK, we can see the building uh, near bottom okay. and the tree to, to make to object detection to work we need to separate the ground filter the ground and the non-ground this is done by the ray ground filter which is actually Carla was uh, the, in the launch file, we mentioned that it, it uses. So we can here we can change the parameters, and also we can set these parameters in the launch file. So I will select ray ground filter and go back. And in the point flow data here, I will find there is point ground, point no ground the map and the point show, this is the points row. So if I select the point ground, see, this is the only the ground. This data. Okay. This is only the ground. Um, if I select points no ground, this is the non-ground point. But there is one problem. Can you see the problem? So can anyone see the problem? Some of the ground points remains. Yes. So these these will be detected as objects. Uh, and this is you should use a uh, compare map filter. It's uh, it's yeah uh, it compares the uh, uh, map, point count, and... Which one? Uh, excuse me. Oh, uh, compare map. Yeah, yeah, this one, this one, this one. Oh. Yeah, but uh, it takes a lot of calculation cost. So we will, uh, we will update this data. Yeah, I, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, but and I think it, uh, it uh, if we can uh, localize poetry, uh, it works uh, much more mm -hmm. great. Okay. Okay, that's that's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. You should use some. You should use it. Yeah, but this is actually it's yeah, barely, yeah. barely barely yeah. running all yeah, the but, but, Yeah, but <laughs> I think it will not work. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's so, so that, that's <laughs> why we need the simplest way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, uh, but I uh, yeah I want to show something. 
uh, we didn't set the information here, the, the parameters. In the, in the sensing file, in the agent in initialization, the LiDAR, LiDAR sensor is at 2.4 meters, not at 1.8. So actually sensor height is very important to know. Here it's 1.8. So I'll just change it to 2.4 as the default Carla setup for the sensor height. How, how do you check that? I'll check the default um, sensor. I went to the, like the, the there is one, there is file inside a folder, I don't remember. But there is. You have to check. Three, yeah, trace, trace, trace it to find the, where is the actual definition of the agent. But if you are creating your own agent, you specify this value by yourself. So you know this one. I suppose you, you know this one. Okay, so let's try again. And we have now points, no ground, without, mostly, without the ground. So this is one step, good. Okay, we want to detect objects. So we go for computing, which is the, the whole uh, auto air stack. Uh, this is the localization part. If we do localization, we use this one, but already Carla run this one, and also trans another node, but it's not here for the metric. Yeah, this one. If you check in the launch file, as explained, you see those? Uh, localization, can to odometry, point down sampling, and entity matching. If we go back to the runtime manager, this is entity matching, this is can to odometry, and here, Actually, this is voxel gray filter. This is the dummy sample. OK? Um, if you check, there is, there is some video tutorial for AutoWare on YouTube by, and uh, from GitHub. You can follow like simply how to launch uh, the nodes and the sequence. Um, so localization working. Now we want to detect objects. Uh, here we select a lot of parameters. We need to spend some time with this node to understand how it works. I like to use GPU. Uh, output frame, I like to make it map for map, not Velodyne for map. Uh, down sample or not, uh, it's OK. Here is the sensor minimum clip. I use five and five. Uh, you can. This is clipping. So if if you want to clip one area uh, up and down, like from bottom to, to top, then this works. Uh, but this is from the sensor position. So if we said we start for two point four, this is like up up ground. I want to start from the ground, so this should be 2.4, and this may be one meter above the sensor. So logically, if you want to do only the from ground to one meter above the sensor, this how we set it. Uh, but because we already filtered the non-ground data and ground data, so I just say minus five and. Um, cluster merge, I don't use it. It takes some time. I just try to save as much. Uh, we don't need this. We already remove ground. Then OK. Then run the wider oblivion cluster. And we want to check the clusters. Yeah, it works. 
Now this is the detected cluster. Object detected cluster. Uh, if you want to check also the bounding box. You can add bounding box uh, object. Oh, it's not published. Or oh, not array, bounding, no more bounding box. not published. Anyway, you get the information, but this is only for visualization, so visualization is not published for the bounding box. Okay, we have detection. Uh, then what else? We need uh, planning. So I will use Open Planner. Uh, actually, we can we need tracking also. We, need, we can do this is a uh, tracker which calculate the for moving objects, calculate the velocity and also calculate the, the contour, the convex hull area around the object for easier. Yeah, I just change. Uh, if, you, if you are confused, there is a lot of parameter I change, okay? Uh, the folder I gave you on the flash drive uh, includes some launch files. These launch files contain the parameters I changed it here. So the exact parameters that works. So don't worry. And there is video also on my YouTube channel with, which has this tutorial of opening. Yeah, yeah, no, no, you don't have to subscribe. <laughs> Uh, okay, so um, enable simulation, no? Um, and run the control. Actually, we need to run velocity post connect, which connects. Uh, uh, it, it already runs. Carla runs this one. Connects the NDT post to some message called current position. So it just then change like forward the name of the position. Uh, so. Yes. <laughs> so this is the contours, the detected objects. It filter by size, that's why this this object, the big object, we don't we don't connect. If we change uh, the filter in the tracker to say not 10, 100, and restart, it should detect all the objects. See? So it give ID and velocity and calculate the velocity. Uh, so we have tracking. Let's have let's check the local planning. Just common I will use a default. 
run all the nodes, all the local planning nodes, and wait. Okay. Okay, that's the circles are the local trajectory. Uh, the blue one is the lo global path that is published by Carla. You can see it's going around. Uh, and the rectangle, green rectangle, is the vehicle, the ego vehicle. And forward, the current behavior. This is the planning, but we don't have control yet. We need to run uh, path following, pure pursuit. So we run pure pursuit and twist filter. And we go. Yeah, the, the actually node from Carla which transfer, transfer the signal into Carla, it takes long time. Maybe say I can, 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 can explain why this and how he fixes this problem. Uh, I have configuration to fix the problem to make it really responsive, but it's not smooth. So now it's just driving, follow, will follow that and avoid the obstacle. If there is an obstacle, it will stop. Uh, if you want to watch a full video about that, it's actually here without the sl slow motion, the slow motion. Uh, okay, let me open it here first. It is dying. <laughs> But still, still moving. Okay. If we in Carla simulator to spawn some surrounding vehicles, it did appear in this RPS. This, this is this is a good question. Yes, we can. Let's scale it more. Okay, now now we, there is no 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 other actors, but <laughs> but we can. Okay. Uh, let's say. Uh, um, Python. Python API uh, example. Uh, this is just insert random objects, uh, cars and. So you didn't how many? No, I just I, I use the default. Actually, some 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 is inserted on the on the vehicle. Oh, you want walkers. Uh, yeah. Now you will see some additional. Uh, car moving in the, let me make this, okay, top down, it's better. Yeah, there's one car, oh, go oh. off, yeah. It's not detected yet by the sensor. But this is the TF for this for this region. Oh I think uh, the uh, I think always publishing the NPC uh, ground to TF or other uh, information. Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. Always publishing uh, this information is a big problem. Uh, this is because uh, it is unnecessary for autonomous driving. Uh, so I want to sh cut off this information. Uh, yes, I think you. Yes, you can. Carla Rose Bridge. Yeah. 
Oh. You can, you can, there is a lot of, uh, options. Uh, not options, like launch files. Yeah. So you can just disable oh. this launch okay, file. Okay, okay, okay. This node. Like yeah, every, yeah. every part is, is using yeah, yeah, some yeah, yeah. node. So you can just disable this node. Yeah, I think uh, this, uh, this node should be, uh, sh uh, should be uh, shut down. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can you can customize a lot yeah, cool. with this. Good. Uh, finally, <laughs> finally detected. <laughs> yeah, one problem with the ray ground filter is it's uh, the the it, it just it filters a lot of points, so the range of the of detection is much smaller. So and actually and tracking, there is tracking the. Okay, I know this is so slow. Let me actually show you. Even this is quality speed. Okay, you can go and watch it HD on the YouTube. <laughs> this is the cha Jakarta challenge. So it's quality so bad. And say HD. What? Oh. Yeah. 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 The internet connection is bad. Yeah, it's auto. It's probably automatic. Yeah. Mm. Next, click it. It's probably automatic. Yeah. The connection is very bad at the moment. Yeah, but it it claims that it's not. not <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> this is not my problem. But anyway, you can see here. This is the that challenge. It's one hour twenty five minutes of driving around so you can see some accidents and uh, and how to avoid but only avoid like uh, cars in the lane but it uh, doesn't stop for traffic light or okay let me just try to have mercy on this PC turn off some Uh, yeah, runtime manager also is really heavy, so... Okay. So this is how you can run customize. Uh, you can run anything you want from AutoWare and check the results. Uh, this is I show you run. Uh, if you want to use the Open Planner, the whole with the parameter optimized parameters, it is the launch files from the flash drive. I believe. Okay. Okay. Now uh, we can. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and we'll come back with the... So there is two parts we didn't cover uh, today. It needs a lot of work with the scenario runner. Uh, I just show the... Um, like basics of scenario runner. We, it has, we need to define uh, ego vehicle, supposition, and um, actually set up other actor behaviors, uh, testing criteria. You can define testing criteria also, uh, which we want, what, what, what type of collision, and set the evaluation as we, we discussed uh, in the um, challenge part. Um, but, and also we can use, this is a new feature, uh, maybe you need to, to check if it's easier to define using the open scenario format. Uh, these are available actually, that's why I, I didn't think about developing a new scenario. These are already developed scenarios in, uh, in Carla. Uh, follow leading vehicle, follow with obstacle, uh, turn right, turn left, uh, opposite vehicle running red light, so it's like intersection and someone like, doesn't follow the uh, traffic rules, 
a stationary object crossing, dynamic object crossing, no signal junction crossing, control loss. In control loss, actually, they just, the feedback control give really weird the car moves uh, left and right. So the controller should stable this. Uh, maneuver opposite direction. Uh, other leading vehicle, uh, if you have more, more, uh, two, two eco vehicles in the simulation scenario or more. Uh, signalized uh, junction, right turn, signalized junction, left turn. Uh, and these are like unit scenarios. You run it and it run at finish. Maybe it takes from 10 seconds to 30 seconds, maybe one minute maximum. So it runs, evaluate, and finish. Uh, not like the challenge, it, there is a whole big path and these are scenarios are repeated. No, these are unit scenarios. We can use it as a, for testing, uh, really fast testing. Uh, this plus already uh, discussed the challenge, color challenge scenarios, which is um, takes long time to finish. Um, we can, of course, we can develop our own scenario. Um, applications uh, from the presentation, we, we can see that uh, we can record ROS bag data from the ROS bridge. Uh, we can do benchmarking, comparing simulated uh, ground truth to uh, AD algorithm output. For example, compare detected and tracked objects with actual simulated objects. We can do evaluation and test planning algorithm by testing behavior planner uh, against simulated traffic uh, situations. Uh, we can do CI, continuous integration and testing, uh, define testing if we have a use cases, we can convert these testing use cases into scenarios and then run it automatically on the server. Uh, we can simulate, uh, this is really useful, simulate dangerous and rare driving scenarios. Like in the Carla Challenge, the pedestrian who come out from behind the vending machine running across the street. Uh, this is rare situation and like and dangerous. Uh, we cannot test it in real life. We don't we don't want to test it in real life. Uh, so these kind of situation we can learn from it. Uh, uh, we can do pre-deployment test uh, before going for a demo. Uh, we can like make a map for the demo place and test on the simulation environment before we go to the review. Uh, this is uh, the end of, uh, of the presentation. Uh, thank you very much for uh, attending uh, Carla Day. I uh, hope it's successful and we hope we cover the rest. Uh, beside the scenario runner, also the docker. We need, we need to, we are Docker week. Um, uh, you, uh, you, want, you want to uh, uh, see our application or other application in Kavala? Uh, it's a, it's a um, uh, prospect application, but uh, uh, like it could be done. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So we could, we could use it for this kind of uh, testing, uh, especially for the complicated scenario testing. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, in in Kia we are now developing a CI process for Auto yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah, So uh, let's discuss in uh, uh, yeah, simulation working group in Auto uh, uh, yeah, Auto uh, working group. Yeah. Okay. I I think I will I will attend that. Good simulation. Good working group. Too. Uh, Okay, any question? Thank you so thank much you for your time. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for attending and uh, we will share the material for everyone to uh, benefit from it. And uh, hope next week uh, challenge will be 
<laughs> it's much easier than this year. And uh, okay, thank you. Thank you.